Today, we're going to talk about TikTok, and we've got one of the best TikTokers out there, Mindy. She is Utah mom on TikTok, and everyone who sees her and understands falls in love with her content. Mindy, how are you today? I'm great. Thank you for having me. It's good to see you. Always good to see you. I saw you yesterday. What do you mean? <laughs> I know, but it's never enough, Ian. It's never oh, enough. That's so sweet. You're so <laughs> awesome. So, Mindy. <laughs> Uh, what, I guess, I guess let's start off with asking any questions of people that are uh, currently on the zoom, Tammy, John, who I'm going to say Gia, do y'all have any questions, Jeremy, <laughs> 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 right? And, and the reason why I want to do that is, is if anybody's coming in and they have something that they want to know or something that they want to learn in particular, I want to be able to address that for sure. And I'm at Mindy Cronquist on TikTok because Utah Mom was born after oh. I started my TikTok. I didn't want to mess that up. All right. Got to put that in the chat. Oh, well, that that prompts me for my first question for you, Mindy. Uh, thinking chronologically, which social media platform did you start with first? As far real as estate. with real estate, Facebook, of course, I am like old school. I am the OG real estate agent. <laughs> um, and so Facebook, I did a lot of the old cliche stuff, like just listed and closings. And But uh, I really am a relationship-based realtor. I do. I, I just generate a lot of business from referrals. I don't pay for lead. I've never paid for one single lead. And I am one of the top top 1% here in my market. So um, I started with that building a community on Facebook and then moved, of course, to Instagram, like everybody does. Didn't do a whole lot with Instagram until the past year or so. Um, and so I was really more active on TikTok. I started TikTok in 2021. So That's been there awesome. three years now. Yeah. That's fantastic. So Rebecca White is asking, she, she says she doesn't use TikTok. Do you get any business from it? I question. do. I do. And I think part of that is getting very local with it. Um, at first, I had a couple of videos that went viral that were almost a million views, which is not viral anymore because TikTok has grown so large at this point. And you almost viral is like three million. Right. But I do have a steady following when I do post Utah mom of like, between 20 and 50,000, 60,000 views. So that tells me that I am like channeling in to people who are here who will DM me and say, I love your content. It's so funny that you're making fun of our culture here. Like people love it. And then they're like, by the way, I noticed you do real estate because I have a link tree also that takes you to Insta where you can see all my house stuff. So I don't do a lot of real estate. I do almost a very like grazing over frosting real estate content. Cause I do the Utah mom character. That's fun. Can you, well, I, I want to answer or ask Rebecca's other question. She says she's at, she's on it. She hasn't done much in years, but it seems like a younger crowd. Do you think that's the case? You know, I think it used to be a younger crowd, but now it's like the number one search engine and people of all generations go like, I mean, I'm in my fifties and I go there now like I even went there before I was very active on it to look for recipes like crock pot recipes or, you know, skincare, skincare is huge on TikTok. So people are now, instead of going to Google, they're coming to TikTok. Sorry, I'm losing my headphones. They're coming to TikTok to look for things. Mm -hmm. And so that, and, and the most effective, I think one of the most effective things that you can do if you're starting TikTok right now is how to. The how to anything is what really gets people going. Like, so if you're in real estate, you're looking to do specific real estate content, you know, maybe it's how to buy your first house, how to not get taken advantage of in real estate. Like there's a whole gamut of opportunity there, but the how to, if you don't know where to start or what to do, I feel like that's a really good place right now because of the search engine that TikTok is. Well, if you think about it, <clears throat> all of these platforms really want to be, I mean, they're all competitors, right? But they really, really want to be known for something. 
most of the other search engines or sorry, most of the other apps like social media apps aren't thought of as search engines. Instagram, even though you can, you don't think of it as a search engine, right? right. Facebook, you don't think of it as a search engine. All you think of as a search engine is Google and maybe YouTube, but Google owns YouTube. So where is TikTok at? And so they're like, you know, this is an opportunity. So it makes all the sense in the world from a business perspective that they would do that. Yeah, I agree with that. And it's, I can see it in a lot of the people who do DM me are probably in that like 30 year old range mm -hmm. or approaching 30 because they realize they have enough money to purchase and they're on the app. And the, the goal is to move the conversation off of the app, but that initial DM is really important to capture respond to quickly. Cause once people come out of the app, then they're probably not even going to respond to you for like another six to eight hours or another day or two, depending on how often they're on the app. So that timing of notification is like really important in converting those leads. Uh, would you say it's easy to convert people off of TikTok? No, I don't think it's easy. I mean, maybe somebody with a higher skill set of conversion of leads would be more amazing at it than most. But because I am mostly a referral based business, that was really tricky for me in the beginning. Like, oh, what conversations do I have? So I really did a deep dive on like, what questions will keep them like drawn into me that don't come off like commission breath or salesy? Like, how do I develop the relationship to get them off the app where I can make a phone call. Tammy just dropped a, a, um, a comment and I, I want to address this. This is actually a really big deal that I've experienced lately. I don't know if you, I know you've experienced this. So she's saying she looked up our accounts. Don't seem to be a lot of videos. The oldest one is only has thousands of views. So Tammy, I have been duped. I have people out there copying my content. They make fake accounts and they'll put my videos on these accounts. And I'm like, what are you doing? And so when people look up Ian of Austin, there's often a something that's off. So like maybe an underscore or a little hyphen or something like that. I don't do that. Nobody does that on purpose. So whenever we see that, I have people telling me all the time, like, did you just message me? Like they'll text. Me. Did you just yeah. message me? No, that is not my account. So it's, it sucks that that happens. That is probably my biggest disdain for TikTok right now. Uh, because I never, I don't have that same issue on Instagram. Uh, so I'm, I'm pulling this up. I want to show you uh, one of Mindy's, Mindy's account. Hold on, let me close this. Yeah, I get, it's really our realtor community that will DM me and they're like, someone's oh. impersonating you. <laughs> so yeah, you can see it's just Ian of Austin. No other characters, nothing like that. And I'm not, listen, I'm not Mindy. I'm not uh, Emily McAllister. I'm not Monica Church, any of these people. I'm doing okay, right? Uh, but I also stopped well. posting, right? So just like, just like you were talking about, Mindy, you were there every, you, you were there since 2021 and being very consistent. I was there, but then I was like, oh, I'm going to do some YouTube. Oh, I'm going to do some Instagram. Oh, I'm going to do some of this. If I would have kept posting on here, who knows? You know? Yeah. I, I go through that same thing because like when business get, when you get really busy and you're producing, then yes. that commitment to content di just naturally diminishes. So I haven't been as regular the past six to six months to a year because I'm attending events and I'm producing real estate and I'm doing things that grow my business in another way. So I'm really recommitting to doing more content. And plus there's this imposter thing where you're like, oh, are people just sick of seeing this? Hmm. Like, you know, there's that whole, like, are people sick of it? But then I think about it and I'm like, well, I never get tired of watching Seinfeld over and over again. Yeah. Like if or something is Rec funny, oh. yeah, something's funny. I want to see it over and over again. So a lot of this is mindset. You know, I want to go back to that because that is, I've never heard anybody say that. That's really good. Thank you. You're so smart. So the fact that you said, I never get sick of watching Seinfeld, that's genius. That's a genius line. 
Like if anybody's writing anything down, that's what you write down for sure. Cause that's really good. Uh, and I, I feel that same way. I think I mentioned parks rec or, um, <laughs> Brooklyn nine, nine, or I, I have shows. These are my core. And, and if I'm ever, you know, tired or just want something to make me feel good or laugh a little bit, I'll go watch one of those shows. And that's, that's so cool because that's your persona. Like people know that as this persona of yours and that's great. Yeah. It's so, like yeah. Saturday night live. How long has yes. that been on TV? People yeah. like to laugh well, and not, not everybody just does funny stuff. Like I get that, but it it's the entertainment value. What kind yes. of entertainment are you bringing? It's so funny because Saturday night live specifically, I'll hear people complaining. It's not funny. It's gone downhill, this and that, but they're still on there. They're yeah. still watching and they're still <laughs> commenting the entire time. So it's, valid. Yeah. <laughs> because other people are watching it. That's the other thing. You yeah. don't want to miss out. If that's the thing that your your friends group knows or people, your family, your you maybe children at this point for some people, if they're watching that, that gives you a common bond. And so if they're watching Utah Mom and you're not, you you might have some folk. Yeah. I love that. That's that, cool. True. True, I like that. All right. You're so, so this, smart too. <laughs> you, this, this, this is incredible. So this is Mindy's real account. And so she has a hundred thousand followers. Uh, so this is actually a question I have for you, Mindy. You see how you're following 11,000, uh, 1100 people. Yeah. But you have a hundred thousand followers. Yes. Do you think that affects your reach in any way? That's something I've struggled with. And I'll use I'll use an example. Uh, I think on my TikTok, I don't remember what it was. Well, let's see real quick, real quick. So I have 23,000 and I'm only following, wasn't even 400. For a while, I was following like 20 people. Yeah. Which is horrible. I was like, I felt so bad. I'm like, I'm not reciprocating. Do you think that the algorithm, that affects the algorithm in any way? So... I wondered that like when I first started TikTok, I was like adding and following a lot of people who would follow me. And yeah. then I had my videographer who was like 20 something year old snowboarder that was like, you don't want to do that. Like actually the app likes it when you have a lot of followers, but you don't follow everyone back. Mm. But I have wondered now because the app has shifted. I've wondered if I follow more people, will they follow me back? Yeah. So that's something that I haven't dared test because I'm still back in that mindset of him saying you don't want to have equivalent followers. So, I mean, on Instagram, I feel like it's the same way. I have 51,000 followers or something on Instagram, but I only follow like 2000 people or something. Mm -hmm. I'm like, do I need to shift that? So I wish I had the answer for that, but I will like never say I know something I don't. <laughs> so. That's I want to, I would be interested. Can you just test that out in for me and let me know how that goes? You're going to have to text me and remind me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm on too many platforms to keep track of that. Uh, I know. You're actually, the master. That, that brings me to another point. And this is, this is, I'm going to say this is advanced. But I do want to know this. So Adam Masari is the guy on Instagram that, that runs the account. Like he runs everything on Instagram. He puts out posts pretty frequently and says, this is what we're trying to see on Instagram. And so if you do what he's saying, then you do better, right? Yeah. Uh, same thing with YouTube. YouTube has a, a YouTube creators account and they'll send us creators these videos and these tips and things to get our content to go out a little further and to do better. Is there somebody like that on TikTok? There's got to be somebody, but who on TikTok is the person for you? I think there's a lady, and I'm sorry if I'm getting her name wrong, named Keenan Kelly. And she I know Keenan Kelly. I met her like three times. Stop it. She is She's awesome. Yeah. I, yes. So I meet her at Social Media Marketing World. Have you been there? No. Okay. I need to go. This is, I don't know who's watching this. I don't know if it's realtors. I don't know if it's other people, lenders title, because this applies for almost any business. Social, Okay. We get sucked into our worlds almost exclusively. So Mindy and I were just yesterday at Real Estate Video Blueprint in Houston, Texas. Uh, it's a, an event a couple of agents at Real Broker put on. It's awesome every year. I spoke there last year. 
it and the amount of energy, the amount of things that people, the, the questions people ask every day, it's just, it's phenomenal, well-organized, all that. But it's still a real estate event. Everybody that's up there talking is talking about real estate. So, and this is my recommendation for people that want to grow beyond where they're currently at. There are so many other industries that are having the same struggles, but nobody aligns. So there's this one called Social Media Marketing World put on by Michael Stelzner. And he has one of the longest running, highest watched podcasts that began like as Facebook was in its infancy, social media marketing world. I've gone there three or four years now. I've met Sean Cannell, which is like a famous YouTuber, Roberta Blake, famous YouTuber, Kenya Kelly. And the thing is, it's a smaller event and it's not geared toward real estate. So I'm sitting here with these people that are like mega, mega, mega stars. And they're just out in the lobby. Nobody, nobody knows what's happening. <laughs> they just, you can just go talk to them. They're just chilling. They're just sitting there hanging out. Chelsea Pites. I met her there. Her. Um, uh, Giselle Ugardi. It's, it's so crazy to see this. So where I'm going with this, the point of it all is look for events that are aligned with your mission but maybe they're not a real estate event. And that could connect you with like worlds of people that are very different from your own. It's kind of like, so I'm in Tom Ferry, you're in Tom Ferry, right, Mindy? Yeah. So in Tom Ferry, it's just a community, like it's not just, but it's a community that people are buying into, right? Uh, uh, Absolutely. Brian Buffini is a community. Social media can be a community. Facebook, TikTok, all of these are communities. So uh, I don't know why we don't do that across... I think that's like a, a huge gold nugget right there because or a diamond that you dropped a diamond there because we do get so fixated on this little niche when really connecting, I say consume as much non real estate content as you can and see what's going viral and then duplicate that, find some other way to make that trend a, a little a little hint of real estate. I don't think we need to be on there like doing everything real estate. I think no. it's just that that um, little hint of, ah, oh, this is so fun, but I also do this kind of a thing. I think it's effective. So I, I'm going to share Kenya Kelly real quick, just so everybody. She's amazing. It's an H. She coaches now. If yes. you really oh, no, want to no. get I talked to her about that. She yeah. makes so much money off of coaching. She doesn't even have to post content. It's nope. but also her the type of content is different. She talks about like building a shop. So many of you know, maybe you don't. So I have a t-shirt store called Shirty Realtor. That's actually why I connected with her originally because TikTok is getting big in the shops. And yes. I'm like, oh, well, this is incredible. And that's she teaches that. She's like, how do you make money on TikTok? We're realtors. That's not our focus. Our, our focus is engagement. But she does the engagement. She talks about making money, all that sort of look, how to go viral. Um, these are these are really good. It's a million, 143. Let's how do how do we do uh all well, of her I, all of her videos? I got an email. It's so funny because TikTok watches for people who have a regular following. Yes. And if you look good on camera and yes. you're engaging, I actually got an email inviting me to do a TikTok shop. Yes. And let's so, put it together. No. <laughs> I know everyone's like, you should do skincare because your skin is so amazing. And I'm like, your skin is beautiful. I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah. <laughs> but it's an opportunity. And she teaches the best about that. Yeah. That's funny. I met, I don't know this woman, but I met her there. Oh, yeah, Shaleen. So I, I don't know her, but she was also there, you know, shake hands, all that. Like, the, think about the fact that this is a collab now. They were both at social media marketing world. They kind of, the, the people run in similar circles. Yeah. Right. Just like us at, as realtors, we go to these events and we see each other like, oh, it's so wonderful to see you. I have still not yet been to Utah to visit Mindy. We're changing that. We're going to make that happen. We're, yes. we're going to make that happen this year. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Um, do you know Chelsea Pites? I know. I've met her at events. Events so, Ch change lives. Yeah, events change lives. Chelsea, so for those of you to, that don't know, I don't even know if she's on, is she on TikTok? Um, I don't think so. She's more of the Instagram, she is Instagram. queen. Yeah. I, I 
proud that you positive. were getting back to something relevant. I think it's still relevant. This is all. It, what do you think? You think this is relevant, y'all? A little bit. Okay, good, 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 good. Where's Chelsea? And Chelsea's so, just so authentic. And that's the thing that I think is so important is that you come off authentic, whatever you're doing. Internet's being silly. So Chelsea, so Instagram, I think is harder to grow than TikTok is, right? So she's got 63,000 followers. Look at these, look at these icons. What? It's so crazy. So cute. Uh, Chelsea, she's super cute. She, I think I met, uh, either Tom Ferry or a real estate blueprint uh, and and she was at social media marketing world she just dm'd me uh not yesterday right before I left so Tuesday and she goes hey Ian can I use some of your content in my book and I was like yes because oh I've seen gosh. her at events so awesome. and and then what she'll do is she'll she's kind of like Jason Pantana where she'll go on these different road shows and because we have this this association with each other, just like you and I, because we have this connection, even if it's a, you know, a little distant, we know of each other, we like each other. And so she'll go on these road shows and she'll pull up Mindy's video. She'll pull up one of my videos and she'll, and in front of her audience of 100, 200, 300 people and talk about why this is great. It's so, so cool. So yeah, go to events that are not real estate specific and you will meet people and like her who, Look, look at this. She's so crazy. Marketing with heart and humanity, not hustle or hacks. That's the kind of stuff I love. Give me just half a second. Watch this. Hold on, hold on. I got a call coming in. Hold on, watch this. Hey, man, sorry to do this. I'm on a live right now. We're teaching a bunch of people about uh, TikTok. Can I call you back in a bit? Oh, you didn't call back. Appreciate you, man. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We're live. Hey. Uh, I like real life. <laughs> I like real life. Okay, so yeah, Kenya Kelly, follow Chelsea Pikes. Obviously, follow Mindy. Uh, so I'm going to go back to your account, Mindy. Okay. Oh, of course. My internet is being dumb. That's okay. Mine does that all the time. Really? It's either loves me or hates me. Yeah. It's because I was gone. Yeah. <laughs> I was neglecting like I it. I missed for a you. <laughs> <laughs> my dogs that, are the same way the internet and the dogs they hate that, it when i'm gone but they love it when i'm back that one video is when i hit a hundred thousand which one i think it's always i'm in like the little purple dress with the hundred thousand behind me but i think that's another thing that makes you you want to be as relatable as possible and show gratitude to people who are following you i think <laughs> that's big purple dress with a hundred thousand i'm not seeing it Oh, it's okay. It's down there somewhere. Oh, I was like, where? Okay, but okay, I just we've been talking about it. I'm gonna play one of the videos. Which right. should I play this one? What video should I play? Um, okay. Maybe scroll down to the viral one. That one's kind of funny. But you can also see how bad my lighting is and how it's an evolution of getting better. This was a trial that didn't work. <laughs> like, I will say this is interesting. The I fact that you have things. so TikTok, the fact that you have to scroll through to find do the do the Dallas one. That one's funny with the glasses. This one here. Yeah. Okay. But this yeah. So like in YouTube, you can sort it by most popular videos, views. You on TikTok, you can pin things. Do you ever do that? Do you think that's? I need to do that. I have not done that, but I do need to do that. I'm gonna I, pull this one up. Let's see. Hopefully, there's sound. This is while I was at Tom Ferry. I was. I just that. really enjoyed my time here in Dallas. Been a little bit hot. <laughs> I probably packed the wrong clothes, but my favorite part has been all of the barbecue, particularly the pickles. <laughs> I just crave pickles. <sighs> I think all this sodium has my ankles a little bit swollen. I better sit down and get my feet up or else I'm going to give birth to these babies. <sighs> Well, I've just really enjoyed my time here in Dallas. It's been a little bit hot. I probably packed the wrong so clothes. Funny. So obviously that's a very, uh, what do you call it? Like stereotype. Vibrant, <laughs> yeah, vibrant and stereotypical character. But the fact that you leaned into it is, look, I, I, I was here. I watched, I think I was watching you guys film this. Let's see. Probably. <laughs> 
Do you know where I can find Tom Ferry? <laughs> Anybody know where? On my stores, on my stores. Tom Ferry's going to be this way. I'm going to find him. Well, I'm just on a mission to find my Tom Ferry friend. I don't know where he might be. Tom Ferry. <laughs> Do you know where I can find Tom Ferry? Well, <laughs> I guess you can say I'm all in. That's so, so I don't know if everybody connects to these subtleties that you, you had in that video. So tell me if I'm, tell me if I'm on point here, Mindy, the fact that you said Tom Ferry a lot, is that strategic? For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. It's so good. Because, because TikTok will pick that up and more people follow and referrals and yeah. Yes. Yeah. The fact that she's at a Tom Ferry event uh, and says TikTok. What did we say TikTok wanted to do? It wanted to be a search engine. And so just like YouTube and Google, they scout, they listen to what you say. And they're like, oh, if people are searching for this, then this person might come up. So if somebody's searching for Tom Ferry, there's a probability that Mindy's video will come up because she says Tom Ferry over and over and over. Such, so intelligent. Uh, so that's one. The fact that you said, I'm all in, Every realtor I know has said I'm all in right? because someone will stand on some stage somewhere and says, are you all in? Are you interested or are you committed? Yeah. Right. So yeah, I love that you're putting in these little, I'll call them real estate colloquialisms because that is highly searchable content. My, uh, do you, yeah. do you tag location? Uh, I don't know that I've tagged location. I know I do on Insta, but I don't do it as much here. Mm. The most, as I understand it, the most important thing, and especially in the past year or so on TikTok is your keywords, your keywords in the description. What's it called? I can't think of what that is called, but basically the comments or the description. I try to put in as many keywords as I want people to find on my page. And then I still do hashtags. I don't know oh, yeah. if that's still an amazing thing, but I'm taking a chance. I'm rolling the dice that that's going to work too. I don't think it could hurt, right? Like, no, but even if the platform doesn't care, it's not going to dock you for the hashtag. Right? Yeah. I don't see that being a thing. But look, look, you also did at Tom Perry. You also typed in Dallas, Texas. You also put 20th annual Tom Ferry Summit. You have all the things that people will be searching for when that event is happening. Yeah. Kind of fun. It is and and cool. I wasn't afraid to look like an idiot. Do you know how dumb I felt walking around all of these <laughs> high level agents in a pregnant weird dress and glasses? Like, But you have to be willing to have the mindset of risking feeling dumb or look feeling like an imposter or stupid in order to grow this platform. You just, it's a thing. Woman, you are a rock star. And it, despite how you feel, that's not how you're seen. It is, oh, it, it's like, oh, I'm watching Mindy. You know, I think all of us have this imposter syndrome, right? Like yeah. we're always, are people going to like it? Are people going to like me? Am I going to lose business because of this? But at the end of the day, your numbers tell the story themselves, right? You have so many people that love and care for who you are as a person because this isn't, this isn't, uh, how would I say this? This isn't you, but it's authentic and it's your humor. You're giving them your authenticity. This is how I think. <laughs> And well, so that's I think that Utah type. mom is a very like sweet little character, even though she's goofy and weird. But I was like, I want to portray when I develop this character, I want to portray because I try to be such a kind, sweet, nice person to everyone. And I don't always win with that, but I try. And I really wanted her to be someone that I would want to know or be friends with. And yeah. So I think that's another part of character development if you're going to do a character or you're going to build an image on social media because it is all image. Who are you and what do you want people to like about you? What is your special thing, no matter if it's educational, if it's funny, if it's intelligence or like within, if you're a total crazy bad A with like the cap cut, whatever it is, that's what you need to portray and don't be anything but 
relatable and who you really are. That's so good. Um, I am also noticing, so you have likes. So it's a lot. Well. So let me go back. So there are a lot of views. Do you know where I can there find Tom Ferry? There likes, but there are still a lot of likes. Like that's a lot of likes. It's not easy to get people to actually hit like for whatever reason. Uh, and then there's a couple comments. This, this to me is an awesome metric. The fact that you actually have people saving it. Because my first thought is, why are people saving this? Yeah. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> what are you going to do with it? Save the shares. I don't know. And I have like no shares really. And so that's stuff that I'm trying to, when I go to the conferences and things, trying to learn more about. I'm going to drop uh, what I was a nugget for people. So you have an option to embed. See this here? Yes. So you get a whole code. This is uh, an HTML code. If you're familiar with it, great. If you're not familiar with it, somebody is, other people are. The reason why you want, and I would say just, you know, reach out to somebody that might know a little bit of HTML. It's very common in um, for web pages. So I use a CRM called Lofty. Mindy, you use Lofty, yeah? Mm -hmm. As a CRM. Mm -hmm. Some CRMs, some blog sites will help you create a landing page or a web page. You can choose, you can use this code, this embed code and paste it. And the best way for me to say it is, it's a video that shows up in the page, but it's just the controls. It's not a share. It's not a link. It's the video in the page. And so if anybody's wow. doing newsletters, let's say you send out a newsletter, that's how BombBomb, Bomb, for example, will have the video in the page for people to see or one way they can do that. So if you learn to embed your videos and you have a newsletter, you could actually send out a newsletter with your embedded video. You could have it on a landing page on your CRM where people can watch the video wow. instead of a link. Because if it's a link, somebody has to click it. If it's a video, it could autoplay. But also they might see it and say, oh, I want to click that because of the thumbnail or whatever. So you're so kind of smart, a, Ian. I'm a nerd. I love the nerd in you. <laughs> I embrace it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Realtor of TikTok. How do you choose your hashtags? Uh, I do. I do a lot of trending hashtags. And then I do hyper local things that like Utah real estate, realtor of TikTok, just for general realtors. Or How do you know some of these are trending when you say trending? So like obviously mm -hmm. FYP. Does everybody know yes. what FYP is? Yeah. So obviously that's trending. Funny. Like, where'd you get fun? Like, I don't, I'm not funny. I don't have funny content, but. <laughs> yes, you do. I don't know that I would ever put that. What made you think that? I thought if there's people in, in my market or outside of my market or thinking of coming here that have a funny personality, that's my tribe. Those are the people I want to work with are people who are looking for funny things. Cause Listen, if I get a really serious buyer, I can do those, but I so prefer somebody with a sense of humor. So I thought, hey, let's just do a hashtag funny. And then maybe somebody who loves funny things will go, oh, she's a real estate agent. I've been thinking about going to buying a house. And then they know that like they already feel that familiarity of like, oh, I can be goofy with her. So good. Thought process. Yeah. To that hashtag note real quick. Uh the way I've done it in the past with hashtags is just say hashtag balcony, uh, hashtag kitchen. And people will, if, for the real estate perspective here, people will just search that one word, mm -hmm. hashtag backyard, because they just want to look at a ton of videos and photos related to that. So it's the yeah. same thing as hashtag funny. It's huh. like video Pinterest. It's very generic. Yeah. That's smart. I, I did a video with uh, the Tesla Cybertruck and I just put Cybertruck like a nerd um such a cool video <laughs> thank you i think this viral thing works out like putting viral or fyp do you think it actually helps you stay on those or have you i don't know i i feel like i feel like it helps because i think that if i didn't have some of these keywords and hashtags i would get even less views and engagement so for me i'm a firm believer and and if it's not broken don't fix it it's worked for me consistently for three years now. And so I don't want to 
change it up until I actually have working knowledge that I shouldn't do it. Wow. Do you, uh, have you ever had an issue with sound being removed from your videos? No. I'm too. I'm noticing you have, it says original sound because you're talking. Yeah. I don't know. We, I don't know if we've ever talked about this, but in my videos, I don't talk in most of them. I don't say anything. And so my sound can be whatever it wants, but I've been in that situation where they've taken down the sound, including the audio because of, because uh, it wasn't original because it was some copyrighted material. Interesting. Yeah, no. it really sucks. Sucks yeah, that does suck. <laughs> Uh, it's my, I've got a little note saying my internet connection is unstable. Just from that out there, if for whatever reason I'm gone, but, uh, <laughs> well, I'm unstable altogether. So it works out. <laughs> oh, you're so awesome. So, okay. I'm looking at this. I'm noticing where you're putting <laughs> the, what do you call them? Like the, it's a thumbnail, but it's really just in a part of the image. You're not creating an individual thumbnail as a cover. No, right? just it gives you that option to create those. So I just, yes. and I try to keep it very consistent and uniform. Yeah, it looks good. And it does look consistent. I mean, some are dark, some are light, but otherwise it's it's the same thing across the board, which is good. Um, and I try to come up with a, a creative hook that will like draw people in, but also gives reference to what it might be about. Well, like this one to the far right says, what Momzilla moves did she use this time? Yeah. I don't even know what a Momzilla is, but I want to watch it. Okay. I just had to call you with the latest news. Hit me with the piping hot tea. Yeah. Oh, I don't drink tea, but you'll oh, be pleased to know that we've seen oh, really? a doggy name debate. No! It wasn't showing? Hold on. The Wait. other ones were. That's so strange. Uh, there we go. Did y'all know you can do this? You can grab the little thing down at the bottom and go through the video. TikTok used to have where you couldn't rewind. I'll use right. You couldn't go back or forward. It's really it was really frustrating, but it also uh, forced people if they wanted to see more of your video, they'd have to just watch it again. So uh, I liked that it did that, and now you have control. I just had to call you with the latest news. Hit me with the piping hot tea. Oh, I don't drink tea, but you- Sorry, I have to pause it there. The I don't drink tea, is that is that a-, a That uh, is a Utah. Utah. Yes. No yep. alcohol, no coffee, no tea. Yep. Yeah, because caffeine, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's so funny. See? Just so we'll good. drink a lot of soda. What? That doesn't even make yeah. any sense. Right? <laughs> This is why I have this page. <laughs> oh, I see. It's okay. Quirky. Okay. Let me continue. But you'll be pleased to know that we've settled the doggy name debate, and I won. We named the dog Stanley. The baby just calls him Lily. It's the cutest darn thing. Marvelous. How did you ever decide? We decided to write our name pick on a shock, and whichever one the dog ran to was the winner. Sounds like a fun Utah mom solution. Oh, okay, okay. Help me understand the sock thing. So I think she put bacon in the sock. Oh, so the I'm ruining it. Out. I'm ruining it. Oh, man. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Tell the others, but I dipped my sock in a little bit of bacon grease. Momzilla moves win again. Boom. I just okay. So the so the story is basically. She wanted a certain name and she manipulated it. Okay, I got and it. And she's into the Stanley Cup because we have soda shops on every corner here. So she's always got her Stanley Cup. See, okay. You know why I missed that? Because I'm a guy. I, <laughs> I do not understand Stanley Cups. Oh my, I'm, I see all these women. They're all LFG Stanley. I'm like, what is happening? Where yeah. did that come from? Yoga pants and Stanley Cups. It's yeah. where we live here in Utah. That's so funny. <laughs> And, you know, again, I completely, completely oblivious. I was like, Stanley, what a human name. That's weird. That's all I was thinking. That is so funny. And and shows how important it is that it's talking directly to your target audience. But I do have, we have the same dog. I mean, not the same dog, but we both have. We do. Uh, you have a golden doodle, right? 
Well, they're two little multi poos, so they look like golden doodles. Oh, they look like golden doodles. Oh, okay. Yes. That's so. Uh, when you said the dog thing, I was thinking about the sock immediately, and I obviously hadn't finished the end of the story. Um, our dogs, they will grab one of anything. I don't care if it's a shoe or a sock, somebody's underwear, <laughs> and they'll take it outside, and then they'll run back in, and they'll just sit and look at us. What yeah, is they, happening? They, they, <laughs> they won't take, chew it or destroy it. They just take it outside. Or yeah, hi, like dogs love things that smell like you. So they will take my sock and just lay on it. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, that they love your smell. So much more sense. Yeah. You should. I don't know if you haven't done a video. If you've done a video on that, but that would be a good one. No, I have my dogs somewhere on here, but yeah. That's good. So uh, does anybody have any questions or comments for Mindy? We're, we've still got about 10 minutes, but uh, hopefully this is some good content, some good information for you. And while we've got her, we want to, <laughs> I was going to say we want to use her, but you know. You know, <laughs> use me. That's yeah. I'm here to be used. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. <laughs> okay. So I think that's really cool. Have you ever had any issues with reporting people like reporting you? No, nobody's ever reported me, but I've reported like, the princes from Dubai who want to yes. me to send ten thousand dollars. Thank you for saying from <laughs> Dubai and not Africa, because that would that used to be a thing for a long time. I was like, stop it. Come on. There's got to be princes in other parts of the world. There are. <laughs> I've there been to Dubai. Of- Everybody looks like a prince. OK, everybody. Yeah. yeah. No kidding. Money. Oh, Mindy, can I ask you um, if maybe you could talk real quick about consistency? So yes. the frequency of your posts and the efficiency, um, you kind of mentioned earlier, it doesn't take the creation of a thumbnail in this platform, which when I hear that, I go, hey, one less thing to do, one less yeah. thing to do, just post it and get it up there. So, but what kind of consistency do you keep? I had, in the beginning, I was doing at least one video every week, sometimes two or three, and TikTok does love that. And I think because I established enough following when it was, easier to establish a following. I'm just going to be honest with you back then um, that people just keep coming back. But TikTok really wants you to post at least one time per day. And I've heard up to three or four times a day if you really want to develop your following. And if you want to develop a local following, you're going to want to make sure that you have those keywords and, uh, and your description can be, I think, 20 200 words long now. It used to be that you only got like this much space, but now they give you this much space. So utilize every keyword you can to target that audience. But yes, that consistency is very important. And it's something that I need to actually be a little bit better about right now. But I was very consistent when I built my fandom. Minnie, can I ask you a personal awesome. question? Always. Uh, do you have- <laughs> Do you have kids? I do. I have four kids. How do you manage it? Uh, they're older now. Um, my youngest is almost 17. And it that has been the hardest thing is to having school aged children. And then I I do between 30 and 50 transactions a year consistently for going on 13 years now. And that the blocking, you have to create space for anything important in your life. So if you want to grow a social media platform, or if you want one-on-one time with your children, or you want to do better lead generation in another way, you will create space for things that matter. So it just Tuesday from 11 to two is my time to write content, strategize content, and then I create space to film that content. And so it's, it's definitely a commitment, but I I am a believer in that how you do one thing is how you do everything. Like the all in thing is real. If you really want to grow TikTok at this stage where we are with TikTok and it's harder to do it now, um, you have to be fully committed to that two, three times a day thing. Mindy, do you, um, how do you edit your videos? I actually, okay, so I am not techie. I actually hire a videographer who comes, shoots everything. Um, I do all of my lines in my Utah mom costume. And then all of my lines is my, her friend, Mindy Realtor. And then 
I pay someone to edit and put that all together and deliver it to me in bank content that I can then go in and I do. It's kind of the Gary V 80, 10, 10 rule where 80% of the work I pass on to someone else. I do the 10% filming and the 10% caption and ta and it's not a thumbnail, but you know what I, whatever that is. Um, and I think it's important to know if you're not good at something, find someone who is because you can save yourself a lot of time, a lot of frustration. It was either I hired that help to help me do that or I gave up on it and I wasn't willing to give up on it. That's awesome. I asked the question because I want to say Gia, can you tell me, how do you say your name? Uh, left a comment saying, hi, are you also going to have a Zoom call for CapCut editing? So um, just kind of to answer that question, there was one on this channel last week. So if you look through the channel for some the Agent Tactics channel, uh, I did one with um, just talking about CapCut. So uh, I think it was, it was amazing. Yeah. So Jeremy puts it on his YouTube channel. It's called Agent Content Creators. Thank you. And that's the recording of Ian uh, doing his cap cut editing uh, agent tactics from last Friday. Agent content creators. Of course, anybody can always reach out to Jeremy Knight or Sonia Morales, and we will send you the link for the recording if you can't find it. And also attending those live events, like Ian showed at a live event, start to finish, we filmed something in that space, and then he had it edited and done in like 10 or 15 minutes. And he walked you through that step-by-step -step process. Mm. So, you know, those, when I say live events change lives, they do. Speaking of, we need to do a Utah mom collab, Utah Ooh. Austin collab. Yes. Right. Here, and I'm and that's, easy to, that's easy enough to do as far as you can do your part. I could do whatever part and it could be a call and we could just splice it together very easily. That's something that we have the ability to do that these days. Yeah. Right. Why are we not doing collabs like that? That's so good. So outside the box. That's why. And it's very effective. Those types yeah. of collaborations. Especially, I don't know what the, actually there, I know that there would be a good crossover between Utah specifically and Austin, Texas. So that could be, that could be good. It could be like really it. good. <laughs> okay. We get, we have to talk about that offline. Okay. Uh, 1054. Any other questions about this? Any other questions about TikTok, short form, Instagram, Utah mom in general, just personal questions for Mindy because she's willing to answer them. <laughs> All right. So let's see uh, what, when you look at TikTok, Mindy, Oh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the uh, the description up here of yourself. Can you explain why you put what you did? Yeah, I wanted to make sure that people knew where I was from. So that's hyper local. They know that I'm a mom. Um, so it's relatable to moms. It's very, being a mom is a very approachable thing, right? And I wanted people to know that I was also a real estate agent. And then the link tree for laughs and real estate tips. So like, hey, if you want to have a good time, but I also have this business over here that's very serious to me. So I just want to make sure that the message is this is a fun page. It's a goofy character, but I also have a real estate business. And then the link tree will take you to my other platforms where you get to see more of that. I didn't have the link tree in the beginning, and I think that that is really important if you're growing a business or growing a following is to make sure people can link to other platforms where maybe you're doing something different. So TikTok is just this like silly thing that I, I didn't care. I thought I did it more as like, Oh, nobody's going to see this kind of a thing. But then I keep my serious stuff on Facebook and Instagram. So I had a different persona in each place and which one's going to work best. But this one, I get the most leads from TikTok. I would say I closed probably seven transactions from TikTok lead generation last year. Wow. That Nobody was, said from TikTok, people. From TikTok. And I had a $2.3 million client that when we got to the closing table, he said, my wife had me binge watch all of your, your TikTok last night in bed. I'm like, I'm in bed with everyone. And yes. 
He said, if you wouldn't have already been our agent, I would have picked you hands down. You're so funny. Nice. And I was like, afraid that I would offend them because they are of this silly culture here. So I don't know, just, it's like I said, Ian, yesterday to Mo, right? When we were talking. Yes, I'm like, always telling, yeah. If, if you're afraid to be on camera, start with Marco Polo. Find your best friend and just start Marco Poloing and hitting record and then move into recording content. I recorded a lot of video that I would just get used to myself being on camera mm -hmm. and not post. And then it evolved into just put it up there. I don't care if I've got like my chubbies showing or my makeup's weird or my eyelashes crooked or my eyebrows weird. Like you just get over it because when you start to see the lead generation and the following and the friendships you develop and the connections and the community you find, none of that matters. I love it. I, I want to go through a couple of these. So like the join our cloud HD video meeting, how, what is that? Uh, that is something that somebody put there for me that I have not done. <laughs> that is my work in progress right there. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, but it'll be a, it... it's coming. Yes. Yeah. Very I'm cool. Hiring help with that. Yeah. That's so fun. Uh, and then merch. So you have merch specific to your brand that people are picking up. And obviously you can tie this to your TikTok if you haven't already. Yeah. Is it not loading? I didn't click it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do. I have like sweatshirts and bucket hats and little things with the Utah Look at that. cartoon. So, so funny. Yeah. Oh, so, it's not showing it. What? I can't see yeah. it. Do that? There okay, it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's, oh, it's just very it's, slow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, open it again. There we go. That's all right. We got 30 more seconds. <laughs> yeah. So the water bottles, shirts, Hoodies, bags, awesome. We All say Utah fetch mom. a lot here in Utah, fetch. So I have fetch and sweet. Oh, my heck is the thing. That's so good. I love it. That's funny. In Texas, we say grab. We're going to go grab this. Oh, grab I love me that. A blah, blah, blah. Even I'm the fixing. state state outline. Fixing, yeah. So yeah. funny. Cool. Well, Mindy, it is always a pleasure to spend time with you and, you know, pick your brain a little bit. Thank you so much. Uh, is there anything that you want to impart upon the world that's watching? I would just say, feel free to reach out to me. I am always happy to help people answer questions, take phone calls. And thank you so much for having me. I adore you in. I love Jeremy too. Like you guys are just some of my OG people that when I was first starting this, I was really scared and you gave me inspiration. So I thank you for that. <laughs>